This is the Uptick Newswire Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, and YouTube to stay up to date on penny stock news and interviews, public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world, with your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, we have a returning guest, uh, BioLargo, Inc., And what they do, they make life better for delivering sustainable technology-based products that help solve some of the most widespread problems threatening the world's supply of water, food, agriculture, health care, and energy. They also trade on the OTCQB, ticker symbol BLGO. Take a look at them. I think they're very undervalued here at $0.33 a share. Uh, With us today to talk about his company, uh, to catch us up on the, the sales is Dennis Calvert. Dennis, welcome back to the show. Oh, Everett, it's my honor to be here. Thanks for having me. You know, last time you were on the show was November 21st, 2017, which was about two or three months ago. And at that time, we were talking about record sales for the the history of the company in, in 2017. Can you catch us up on maybe on some of the sales of some of your products, such as the older and, uh, and the engineering, what's going on in the engineering side of the group? Yeah, sure. So, you know, what's what's really interesting, Biolargo is really becoming known as an innovator, right? So not only do we have great technology, now we have services and skills at innovating to solve real life problems. And these technologies and now the addition with the addition of the engineering group has really opened that field pretty dramatically. And, you know, and as far as these two commercial units, these are early commercial entries. Odor and Morris sales are increasing. The engineering group has its first contracts in place. We'll talk about that a little bit. And it kind of reminds me of that sort of age-old parable, right? Whoever can be trusted with a little can also be trusted with much, right? Yes. And, and what that really points to in these businesses is the trust that's required with these clients. You know, it takes years to establish that trust, and you can lose it in a minute, right? That's true. So in these businesses, what's happening is that we are becoming entrenched as a reliable supplier and solution provider for these clients. Remember, we're working with three of the top 10 players in the solid waste industry, and the commercial applications for the industrial odor control are really expanding. And as a result of the expansion and our solving problems and earning trust, the role with these customers is also changing. You know, now we offer advice on design, equipment, retrofitting. I mean, the engineering group can come in and complement our chemistry and our liquid chemistry solution for controlling these odors. But more than that, we can help the clients really execute in the most excellent way. So already that's expanding. We're also expanding the uses of the product with our customers themselves. Remember, we started with odor, but it's really volatile organic compounds and even some greenhouse gas emissions are being managed with this incredibly safe all-natural chemistry. And those opportunities are continuing to expand as well. So you know, so and of course we're winning new locations and expanding sales with our existing national accounts. Remember, we've got three of the big boys, three of the top ten under contract. So, so we look at that business and we're pretty excited. I mean, of course, everybody financially wants it faster, okay? <laughs> right? <laughs> right. So we get it, and we do too. Really, fundamentally, you know, we were with one of our big national accounts last week, and we talked about really accelerating. You know, really, wi- a lot of wisdom came out. This is a senior executive, big company, and you know, he says. He says, you know, I just can't afford for you guys to fail. You really need to get it right, and let's do it, and you're winning, right? And so every, really, literally, it's like every other day we get a new location. So, But it's a lot of work. I mean, we're out in the field. We're the clients earning that trust and making sure that as we handle a little, we're prepared and trusted to handle a lot. And I just think that principle is ringing true. And, you know, so build the foundation, right? And, and then, anyway, the other is the engineering group. You know, this engineering group is a world-class team. Now, they're new here. You know, we're about 90, 120 days in or so, right? But good news, we've signed our first 10 or so customers, which is huge. Now, they're all little, but it's a big deal, right? Because it's not going to take a lot for that organization to get to a cash flow neutral and positive cash flow. Right. And remember, remember, the premise of the business deal that we made there is we knew fundamentally we needed the services that they could provide to advance our technologies into a go-to-commercial mode, especially in our water treatment. So the internal work they're doing is just off the chart. I mean, and so we'll detail some more of that in a minute, but I'm, I'm telling you, between the go-to-market and the services internally, 
it's just really loaded the company to tackle any just about any commercial situation we need to manage. Well, you know, the last time you were on the show, we were talking about the FDA approval. I know everyone's anxious for the FDA news. Can you share any information and where we're at in that process? Well, I can share a little. You know, it's it's a this one really reminds me of. <laughs> I mean, I know it's kind of funny, but if you look back on the Mark Twain story where he says the reports of my death are greatly exaggerated, <laughs> right? Right. And, you know, th- and our story is kind of like that. I mean, we go quiet for a reason. Quiet's not bad. Quiet is good. Okay. Especially when you're in a quiet period with a regulatory application like the FDA. So the premise is awesome. I mean, you know, think about this. This is the culmination of really the origination of the company. You know, when Ken, remember way back when Ken Code started this in, this in track of these inventions, he was looking for a way to keep his dad safe from infections related to the hospital. I mean, it's, it's the origin of the company. It's taken us years to figure it out, get the right people, and get proper financing. And remember, the breakthrough was really bringing in the financial partner that gave us the tools to go out and hire the best talent in the world. Right. We've done that. Okay, that pro- those product designs are complete, and now we're in application. So we will hire the best in the world. One of our consultants is Amerigo. Amerigo is one of the leading FDA consultants in the space. They have to remind us often that it takes about 177 days. That's about six months. I have to remind everybody, you know, we're not dead. We're far from it. In fact, we're alive and well and cranking, and we're at about 110 days into the process. So we're hoping, right, that we get through that process in the first six months. And in the meantime, we answer the questions. We go through the process. We're confident in what we've done, and so we're pretty excited. Now, relative to to the quiet, I, I just think it's critical that we stay the course uh, keep publicity to a minimum, and let everyone know that we're excited as ever about those technical innovations and the role that they'll play in the commercial life, in the commercial markets, literally saving lives. My guest today is Dennis Calvert. He is the CEO of BioLargo. They trade on the OTCQB, ticker symbol BLGO. Uh, their market cap is around $35 uh, million, still completely grossly undervalued, stock around $0.33, $0.34. Cents. Dennis, let me ask you this while I got you on, on the line here. The AOS for the water industry is a huge opportunity. And as you related to it earlier, it seems kind of quiet. You know, what's up with that piece of your business? Perfect. You know, as, as, uh, as, as the saying goes, water is life, okay? So water is life. Listen, if you've got innovation in the water business, uh, it, it separates you from a pack that is just, just unbelievable. I mean, it's a massive opportunity, okay? And, you know, as we say, we did, at BioLarga, we never sign up for what's easy. We sign up for what's really fundamentally purposeful. Absolutely. And they'll advance the, right, the mission for good. It's really that commitment to greater good. This is one of those assets. This invention represents a, a technical leap forward, okay? So there's a lot going on. I want to give it real short. I'm going to run through it real quick because I think it'll help people. Remember the discovery is that we use uh, chemistry and electrochemical reactor to generate this highly potent oxidants, this, these materials that can break down contaminants with low energy really fast. That's the basic value proposition. So what does it take to get that technology to market? Okay, so here's the deal. We, we've proven the basic science. We actually recruited and organized and acquired a world-class engineering team to get that technology ready for market. We've only been here about 90, 120 days. I mean, we're just a few months in, okay? In the meantime, we're advancing the claims to really focus on very specific target contaminants that the industries have expressed interest in, things like selenium and pharmaceuticals and even RO fouling. You know, that's the idea that biofilms are accumulating across the membranes that are used for desal. We have an important role to preserve and optimize the performance of RO membranes. We've done early work in Giardia and Cryptosporidium. Cryptosporidium is a spore former. It's incredibly difficult to tackle. We've got evidence to support our claims there. We're doing a host of virus surrogates, right, that gives us the menu to focus on things like drinking water. Okay, big deal. In any event, we've done three commercial trials that were sponsored through grants. Remember, this technology has received 55 grants, not two, not three, 55 grants. That's amazing. It's amazing, and they continue. We've actually built a whole research team to focus on it. So a couple of months ago, let's see, I think it's been about 60 days ago, we actually did a trade uh, uh, mission. It's 
sponsored by uh, Canadian federal support, and we did a trade mission to China, right? Well, listen, China is just flush with cash, and they got some significant water issues, and they are hunting companies like us. And so that trade mission was incredibly successful. And now there's a whole menu of companies that are interested in taking the next step. And we're even talking about doing some trials to really get us into forming a partnership to develop a commercial um, critical mass, including money and resources, to get the technology pulled into the market. And these are just hungry for, te- for technology uh, opportunities like us. And so it's very exciting. Okay. In addition, the engineers. The engineers are doing a complete package. Now, again, remember, remember, they've only been here 100 days. Right. So we're doing de- design, process flow, piping, instrumentation, diagrams, right? Process control strategies, materials of construction, right? I mean, we're talking about a whole build-out of the toolkit that allows the technology to find its way, find its way into a broad commercial distribution network, right? Distributors placing that technology in the marketplace. Another really interesting thing is we just completed testing in stormwater applications. Listen, stormwater alone is projected to be a $105 billion market over the next 20 years in America alone. It is a massive opportunity, okay? And we look at that market, and what are they looking for? Efficiency, modular, portable, distributed, low CapEx, low OpEx. We've got all the goods to compete there. So we're already working in stormwater. We're doing testing. We're talking to municipalities. We're looking for grant for support. We're looking for the tools to see the technology go from idea into execution, again, with this full-service mentality, right? Because now we have the talent, the technical talent to not only build it, but to sell it in, support it, and make it work. Okay, so it's a big deal. Now, the key for this is to get this thing scaled up, which is what the engineering, the primary objective of the engineering was, what is designed to do, and they're busy working on the scale up itself. So again, we go back to the basic value proposition of this water technology and we say, are we on track? Yeah, we're on track. Does it have a market opportunity? No question. Is it easy? Absolutely not. <laughs> this, is, this is a tough challenge, okay? And the way we want to get to market is to, to work through federal and public funding as much as possible, align ourselves with strategic partnerships, and then pick the market where with our resources, our small company resources, we can pick a win, get a few wins under our belt, see that product come to market. Our goal really is to get into that early stage placement on the commercial side before the end of 2018, all things being equal, right? You have to get the work done, make sure the capital's there, make sure the customer's online. We're in specific discussion with customers that have real life problems that we can solve. And so working through that sort of that technology gap from innovation to reality to adoption. And it starts very small, but once you get that foothold, we can really expand. And the only thing I can really point to for our shareholders is to take a look at the medical. You know, we've been talking about and developing this technology for years, and once you get the right resources in place, everything starts to happen, and that's what we're witnessing. Dennis, I want to thank you for coming on the show. We're running out of time. You said a lot today. You said it all. You did it again. I want to thank you, uh, like I said, for coming on the show. In closing, is there anything that you would like to get out there that maybe we didn't mention? Sure, thanks. Well, you know, (laughs) I'd really encourage a couple of key principles. You know, our company is really a, a patient build, right? We are building cornerstones of success that are unshakable. Uh, it is it is uh, the science that's ir- irrefutable. It's people that are committed, right? And as we say, the patient, patient, the patient will be rewarded. We're patient. We're looking for value. That's the way we invest. We invest. We invest in assets that we know can make a difference, where we can find the the, the channel to break through, right? And the short term is all about popularity, and the long term it's about sort of weighing. So, so we would really encourage people to dig deep into the diligence about BioLargo. Invest in a company, not a stock. Go long. Watch us build this company. And and really, watch us execute on our mission to make life better. Dennis, thanks again. Good talking to you. Hopefully, you'll come back on the show in 40 or 50 days and give us all an update. Thanks. It was great. This program is entirely sponsored and produced by Uptick Newswire, LLC, which is responsible for the content. The opinions and information provided on this program are those of the guests and those of the respective companies they represent and do not necessarily reflect those of the staff or management of Uptick Newswire.
Uptick Newswire encourages all listeners of this program to do their due diligence and research when determining investment strategies that will work for them or to seek the assistance of an investment professional. The guests of this program may have paid for its distribution and are not directly affiliated with Uptick Newswire or the station.